that. But really looking back at the highlights, it was a case of getting in, getting out onto the circuit, and putting the lap times in. Beautiful weather conditions here at the Nürburgring, jostling for positions. This was ahead of the first session. This is Christian Meese watching on to see what his teammate can do. And Alex Riberas was delivering very, very well indeed, setting times constantly at the top of the timing charts. Michael Meadows found a little bit of a problem exiting the chicane, but the pace of Albert Costa was a real surprise, not just to him, but the team as well. They struggled awfully yesterday, were right down towards the bottom of the timing grid. But all eyes always on the 63 Lamborghini in the hands of Mirko Bortolotti. Great delight for the whole team. Pole position number one, one bonus point for them already in the bag. Time, of course, to swing into session number two. Came here leading the championship, but something went wrong going down into the hairpin at the bottom of the hill. Christian Mies put the car sideways to absorb the impact as well as possible. He was OK, the car was not. The red flag was waved, and then it was up to the crews to go out and put their time in. In the second part of qualifying session number two, and Raffaele Marcello did not disappoint. He went to the top of the time charts, but a really late charge from the Black Falcon Mercedes. Saw Lucas Stoltz go to the top of the time sheets by just six one thousandths, and the WRT Audi team had no answer for the pace of those two Mercedes at the top of the chart. And at the end, championship challenger Mies, unable to complete the session, ended up down in 14th place. So it's going to be a real struggle.